This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. So hello guys, welcome back to another video of our channel and this video we will be taking a look on the AEM vulnerabilities or the Adobe Experience Manager vulnerabilities and we will be taking a look how to pen test them, how to find bugs using it and also we will be doing a live hunting into it and as you guys can see the thumbnail we are having another thing, a practical thing written into the thumbnail so that's why we are going to do a lot of interactive things in the particular video. So let's get into it. But before going into the video, I have a few announcements to do here. We are having Bug Bounty Beginner and Bug Bounty Advanced Bug Bounty courses. And in both of the courses, you can get 50% off. This is the last chance. After the release of this video, you are only having 2 days or 48 hours to receive your 50% off onto the Bug Bounty courses. You can check out all the contents here. And other than that, you can also have a lot of recorded courses as you guys can see all of our recorded courses here. So that are for the promotions. Now let's get into the video. So here we are on a computer screen now. So in this video, we'll be taking a look on AEM pen testing practicals and I'll be presenting this particular slide. So let's take a look onto it. The first thing that we have to take a look is the overview so in this particular video we'll be taking a look on who am i what is aem how to look for it how to find how to set up the environment and how to use the tools hunting for it live examples and all those things so in this first of all ppd i will be explaining myself sound very friendly about and cyber security enthusiast building the cyber securities youtube is here as you're watching it right now Instagram is handled showed here and the courses are mentioned there so you guys can check all the links in the description and make sure to check it out Now first of all, what is AEM? So AEM belongs to Adobe or Adobe So it belongs to it refers to technically Adobe Experience Manager It's a comprehensive content management system or a CMS like WordPress Solution for building websites mobile apps and forms So AEM makes it easy to manage your marketing content and assets AEM is built on a rich open source software stack that exposes many Java APIs. For using during the development, this article explores the major APIs when and why they should be used. AEM is built on four primary Java API sets and AEM or Adobe Experience Manager deploys usually consists of multiple environments used for different purposes on build of levels like development, quality assurance and staging. So how to look for AEM? So that's the major four steps. Get the target, spend time on finding subdomains. You can use a lot of things like subdominator. You can find a lot of like the B-Bot tools for finding subdomains. And that's a very great and in-depth way to find and look for subdomains. Okay, you can spend a good time on finding subdomains using multiple tools, a hundred of schools. Like usually in, their, in the reconnaissance course that is free available right now, you can check it out in the description. In that particular course, I have shared how you can find all these subdomains or let's say you should use seven methods. There are different methods. I'm not talking about tools. You need to use seven dif different methods to find or search for AEM AM or all those subdomains. And then you can look for AEM. Now, after that second step, you got is visual recon or find all the subdomains having AEM technology or Adobe Experience Manager. So in multiple cases, you can simply just take on the web realizer and you will see the AEM is used. But if you use eyewitness, you will see that in the particular screenshot page or in the particular PDF, you will be seeing all the technologies used. So make sure you use the particular tools or the specific tools used for it. And the third step is very simple. Use the notes that I'll, I'm going to share. Use the tools that I'm going to share and find the vulnerable endpoints and exploit them. And the last but not least is escalate the vulnerability. Now we've got environment setup. The tools you're going to use is very simple. AEM hacker and nuclei. And the notes I'll be sharing. So the tool that we are going to use is very simple. It's made by Mikhail Egoro. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right now or wrong, but definitely we are going to use this particular tool. And when we are talking about the notes, I'll be sharing all the notes in the description. So make sure to check it out. 
so what is this tool amhacker.py so let me just show you how to use it as you guys can see that this tool is having four particular things but let me show you am hyphen hacker and on the github you will find this thing and as you guys can see that there is majorly four dot py files here as you guys can see this thing we are having four major py files am hacker.py main script to send am web apps from the liabilities am discover.py script to recover am web apps from list of urls and this particular thing is usually used to uh, eliminate the process this process like proper visual recon you should eliminate this if you're only looking for aem but if i'm not talking about only aem then it will also give you a lot of other functionalities that you can exploit maybe jira jenkins grafana and all those things third one is aem underscore srf2 dot rc so this will use to get rc from srf if there is a aem rc possible so for using all these things you need to use the aem discover dot py first and that the aem hacker dot py and the last one is script to get rc by uploading jsp shell so this is also used when you are able to use the first one hacker now the usage is very simple but you need a particular host name and you can use the bob collaborator for it so let's take a look onto it let me open my terminal and in my terminal we will just take a look here the, i am already having this particular tool let me open the particular directory as i'm already having this am hacker.py and first of all before using this tool do one main thing that in the beginning you need to install use this particular requirements.txt file for installing all the required things here you can take a look on the usage and all these things but i'm not going to take a look onto it that's why i made this video so if the particular creator of this uh, tool or let's say if mikhail ergov is watching this then thanks for this tool it has given me a lot of bounties using this tool so definitely that's a big help for it a special thanks to you now python 3 now you can use this tool so let me use the am underscore hacker hyphen h help menu obviously the particular help menu is like this the usage the slides that can help you a lot in it so definitely let's open the slides here just you know not open the slides here by this thing let me just copy this open the slides here and here are the slides that you should take a look on you guys can see this thing all tools and mentioned by here uh, all a great detail on am is mentioned here so if you want to learn about what is aem all the particular bypasses and all these things then definitely you should take a look on to it but in this particular video i am only taking a look on the available tool or the aem hacker tool and if you just take a look on to this tool this tool is having all these features if i'm as i'm showing you the aem dispatcher right then aem dispatcher bypasses are here and this tool is having all those things in it so this is a sort of automation on it So definitely take a look onto it. As you guys can see that AEM query builder dot JSON, right? This is blocked, but these are the allowed ones. So yeah, all these methods, all these things are mentioned here with the particular uh, the site or let's say the particular allowed or I will say I can say that all the allowed endpoints or all the vulnerable endpoints with their references, so you can get a better idea onto them. Now. You guys, you should take a look onto this. I'm mentioning this particular link in the description. And for now, let's take a look onto the tool here. Then we got the other than the AM hacker. Let's take a look on the discover dot py hyphen h. So here we are, and we are going to use this particular tool, the AM discover dot py. And here I'm having a hyphen hyphen file, just specifying the file which is having a lot of subdomains. If I hit enter, it will try to discover all the files or all the subdomains that are having. AEM or let's say we are having or running a web experience manager on it. So let's wait for it to give me some outputs because as much as I know this file is having more than a lot of subdomains. I don't know the exact amount, but let's try to look on it. So it is having more than one lakh sixty six thousand subdomains. These are the actual valid ones or the HTTPX done subdomains. So let's wait for it to give me an output. 
so it is going to take a long time but i'm having few am uh you are as i have reported this month or i can say that the previous month for some sort of am related bugs on it so let me show you those tools this is going to take some time so we are not going to use this thing right now because i cleared it now we have few more things like the am hacker right so let's use the tool python we am hacker.py hyphen h so i'm having a url i'll be showing here so before it am hacker.py hyphen u they're going to use the particular url but before it let's add the hyphen hyphen host for our srf ping back if you got any sort of ping back then we you should use the other two ones the srf server srf rc right we can use these things for having any sort of ssrf and we'll be taking a look on to it in the upcoming video if i have made on to it so let's add our particular host so we are going to use the bob collaborator for it and i have copied my url pasted it here and now let me add the particular url as i'm going to blur it here for few time as it is already unpassed so let's use it so let's use this thing and here we are as i have just run enter on it and as you guys can see that on the new finding you guys can see this particular thing and just told me that meta data server it is exposed access might be open via path parameter okay now let's wait for it to get all the findings here so here are the few things that we have got from the tool and as you guys can see that we are having no srf ping back here but it's still working but let me show you what was the output of the particular tool on the report so let me show you we are back on the ppt and i have just find a few things by using the am discoverer and the am hacker by using both of those i have able to find some sort of information disclosure by misconfigured am after escalating a little bit more i was able to get some sort of information in direct this like it's the passwords and all those things and it got traced on 23rd august this month and here you guys can see all those details that you should do now you can wait for getting all the outputs here but i had to just make the video unnecessarily long so that was for the video and also when we are talking about few more thing like as you are talking about the notes and tools so in the tools i have mentioned nuclei so there is a, a particular server let for nuclei if i use the same url that i have used on my particular uh, am hacker i can use the same url on to the nuclei but the nuclei will not give me that much results that is only having few am templates but the am hacker tool is completely based on that particular am so that will give you a better results than the nuclei so i will definitely prefer using am discoverer and am hacker for it rather than using nuclei on it so this for the video thanks for watching like and subscribe and see you guys in the next video and also on the occasion of 2000 subscribers we will be releasing a very own free bug bounty course so stay tuned on the channel share this as much as you can on the twitter and see you guys in the next video